End of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery is a novel that richly explores themes of identity, imagination, and belonging through the life of its vibrant protagonist, and Shirley. Set in the bucolic town of Avonlea on Prince Edward Island, the narrative begins with an apparent mistake. The elderly siblings Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert intended to adopt a boy to help with farm work, but instead receive Anne, an imaginative, talkative, and red-haired girl. Anne's arrival disrupts the quiet, predictable lives of the Cuthberts, especially Marilla, who initially views Anne's imaginative tendencies and dramatic flair with suspicion and discomfort. Anne's character is marked by her vivid imagination and love for stories, which she often uses as a means of escape from her painful past as an orphan. This imaginative spirit is not just a survival mechanism but also a source of her resilience and unique charm. Her tendency to daydream and create elaborate fantasies about her surroundings often gets her into trouble, yet it also endears her to many in the community, including Matthew, who is charmed by her spirited nature. The theme of belonging is central to Anne's journey. Initially, and feels like an outsider both because of her status as an orphan and her unconventional personality. However, as she integrates into the Avonlea community, she gradually gains acceptance and finds a place where she is valued and loved. This transformation is particularly evident in her relationships with her peers and her adoptive family. Anne's friendship with Diana Barry, for instance, becomes a cornerstone of her life in Avonlea, symbolizing the deep emotional connections she forms despite her earlier feelings of isolation. Marilla's evolution throughout the novel mirrors Anne's quest for belonging. At the start, Marilla is strict and emotionally reserved, viewing Anne more as a responsibility than a daughter. However, Anne's presence slowly softens Marilla, revealing her capacity for deep affection and demonstrating the transformative power of love and companionship. Matthew's immediate acceptance of Anne and his quiet support act as a counterbalance to Marilla's sternness, highlighting the diverse ways love and care can manifest within a family. The novel also explores themes of self-acceptance and personal growth. Anne's struggle with her appearance, particularly her red hair, symbolizes her broader quest for self-acceptance. Throughout the story, and learns to embrace her individuality and find confidence in her identity, a journey that resonates with readers of all ages. Her academic and personal achievements, such as winning a scholarship to Queen's Academy, underscore her determination and intelligence, qualities that help her overcome the numerous challenges she faces. L. M. Montgomery's portrayal of Avonlea itself is a critical element of the novel's charm. The vivid descriptions of the natural landscape, the changing seasons, and the close-knit community create a picturesque backdrop that enhances the story's nostalgic and idyllic tone. The setting not only serves as a physical space but also as a reflection of the internal transformations of its characters. The natural beauty of Avonlea parallels Anne's inner world, rich with imagination and potential. And of Green Gables is ultimately a celebration of the human spirit's capacity for growth, resilience, and love. Through and surely, Montgomery presents a character who, despite her difficult beginnings, finds joy, meaning, and belonging in the world around her. The novel's enduring popularity can be attributed to its timeless exploration of universal themes, its richly drawn characters, and its ability to evoke both laughter and tears from its readers. Anne's story is a testament to the power of imagination and the importance of finding one's place in the world, making it a beloved classic in children's literature and beyond.